SGC here. And today's first impression is on Arrow. So it's a retelling of the Green Arrow character from the DC universe. So the simple plot line is that this dude shipwrecks and lands on an island and then five years later he gets rescued from a random Chinese merchant ship and then he goes back into town and then becomes like an arrow because he trained for five years on the island to be super badass. And then he starts killing people with arrows and trying to take down bad guys in the city. Like who? Like guys that just went up the ranks of the city through corruption and all that bad stuff. So yeah, that's the plot of the entire series, probably. There's a lot of foreshadowing and to what happened to him on the island. This episode didn't really talk that much about it, but he did get a lot of nasty scars on that island, which makes me wonder, how did he recover from those nasty scars if he lived by himself on the island? So probably he didn't live by himself. So let's just talk about the lead because I don't really care about anyone else in the series or I don't even know who they are. So the guy that plays Arrow or Oliver Queen is Stephen Amell. Right here. He really reminds me of a younger version of Garrett Dillahunt, the guy that plays Burt on Raising Hope or the Terminator guy in Sarah Chronicles. I don't know, for some reason he just reminds me of Dillahunt. So yeah. So more about Oliver Queen's character before he got shipwrecked and lasted on the island for five years is that he wasn't a likable guy. He was a party goer, slept around. Like, really screwed over his girlfriend and her sister, so that was not good. So when he comes back, everyone's like hating on him, or, well, the girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend. But everyone was like, whoa, thank you, thank God, I got Oliver Queen's back now. That's pretty much the character development with, like, the main character right now. There's a lot of things you don't know about why Oliver Queen is the Green Arrow, because he's super tech-savvy, which kind of is weird, because, I mean, he was on a island that looked really deserted, and... There was nothing there. So how is he so tech savvy? They don't really talk about that. The bad guys in this is hilarious because really they do a lot of stupid things. Like there was this one scene where Oliver was like tied up on the chair and he's like, what you gonna do about it? You're tied up in the chair. So how are you gonna save yourself? And then he's like, no, I did not get tied up. I got out of my real restraints. And he owns everybody close quartered. And there's this one dude who's standing way in the back with an AK-47, and he like, oh my goodness, let me shoot him. And then all of a sudden, Oliver Queen's like, oh, grabs a body as a shield, blah, 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 blah. And then the guy runs off, like the guy with the gun. I mean, you have a gun, dude, and he's unarmed. The crazy guy just killed all your friends, but you have a gun. When you continuously shoot at him and try to hit him, but no, he runs off. And then Oliver just like, oh, let me run after you and do some fancy parkour to evade your bullets. And then he kills the guy with the gun. That's totally like weird. And there's this other scene where like they're setting up for a defense and they're like, here, you stand behind the corner, you do that, and let me close this door because it's made out of glass and let me lock it with a special code because, you know, glass doors are impenetrable. So I was just like, whoa, wow. As a comic noob, I don't really know that much about Green Arrow. So I'm sort of intrigued about how they're going to like play this out. So I will probably steak with it until I can't stand it anymore. So for those that don't read comics, would compare Arrow Guy and Batman because both of them are rich, a horrible person in real life because they sleep around and party too much, and they make their own technology. But the difference here is that well, not make ter and make their own weapons. And the difference would be that Arrow kills and Batman does. So yeah, um, I sort of enjoyed it ish. The interaction between him and his sister was kind of awkward because it's the whole like, oh, you've been away, I changed, but. Don't expect me to be the same person who I was before you left me, sort of thing. Like, that's sort of a very cliche, like, why can't people just, like, change but for the better instead of, oh, you know, mom lost dad, I lost you, now I have nobody because mom got a new husband, and now I'm going to go do drugs to save my life. So that's pretty much it for Arrow, first impression. That's how I feel about it. How do you feel? You be the judge. See ya.